We don't really know uh, because we have seen the first stages of the political transition here in China. Uh, we are expecting the changes on the state level, then we'll see how the policies develop. But I think with the new leadership coming in, that's going to be here for X numbers of years, we need to deepen our engagement so that we increase the understanding, our understanding of what they are doing, their understanding of what we are doing. Remains to be seen. Uh, I, I think it's an expression of the fact that uh, East Asian issues are going to be more important. That's fairly obvious. Uh, from the American point of view, it's a lot of focus on security issues. From our point of view, a uh, focus perhaps somewhat more on the economic and the, 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 the political issues. So we are also increasing interest and engagement in Asia, no question about that. By engaging with them. Um, I mean, they have become somewhat more difficult, you might argue, but the trade relationship is uh, much more intense. When it's much more intense, it means that there is more trade friction on different issues. How do you answer that? By more diplomacy and by more engagement with them. And uh, the same would apply in other areas as well, I would guess. I think there are quite a lot of global issues. I mean, global security issues, um, look only at the energy, look at the climate issues, look at the global trade issues that are fairly obvious. Then, of course, there are regional issues. Afghanistan is a country that has a land border with China, as a matter of fact, it doesn't border neither Sweden or the United States. Um, those are just some of the issues. And then, of course, in so far as we can be helpful in setting up the regional arrangement that might be useful in uh, handling some of the uh, sensitive and controversial issues that are in this part of the world.